हाई दिस इज रुद्रजित अधिकारी आई एम करेंटली सेलिंग एज अ थर्ड इंजीनियर जूनियर विथ रेप्यूटेड क्रूज कंपनी सो बेसिकली आई हैव क्लियर्ड माई क्लास फोर एम ई ओ क्लास फोर एग्जाम्स विच इज द लाइसेंस विच गिव्स ऑफ द लाइसेंस टू सेल ऑन बोर्ड शिप्स commercial cargo ships cruise ships and other vessels as an officer to tell about my education i have done my class 10th from bhavan tripura vidyamandir as well as my class 12th after that i chose to do mechanical engineering which uh, i have done from satyavama university chennai after that i had uh, a career choice to make because i got selected in a uh, reputed uh, information technology company and i had to make a choice whether to follow my passion which was to join merchant navy or to stay with the it field that i have been already selected so that time i decided to do the course that is called the graduate marine engineer course gme which is required to uh, which is kind of a conversion course from mechanical to marine engineering i did the course after completing my graduation so the course is of 8 months and uh, it is done by most of the shipping companies who sponsor candidates for doing the course as well as there are institutes where you can do the course uh, without getting any sponsorship so this is my career journey after that i have uh, sailed as a trainee engineer for 6 uh, and a half months after that i got promoted to the rank of fifth engineer for uh, after which i sailed for again 10 months then i had to give exam which i previously mentioned that meo class 4 to get my next promotion so this is my career journey as far as now so why did i choose merchant navy uh, this is a very common question that i encounter in everyday life because uh, since i am born and brought up in tripura which has got no uh, beaches or uh, shore sea shore for that to get to get me inspired to choose this as a profession so basically my uh, reason for joining this was i wanted to see the world and uh, earn good money while doing so which wouldn't be possible in any other way than doing this so after that after my graduation as i said i had to make a choice so i made the choice to uh, join merchant navy uh, uh, while doing that i have i was i gave exams for different uh, sponsoring shipping companies who would sponsor the course that means they will guarantee the job after the training which is very important if you plan to join this field getting a sponsorship before doing the course any course is very important so after getting the sponsorship i did the course that is of 8 months from uh, the great eastern institute of maritime studies i got sponsored by two shipping companies the great eastern shipping company as well as volume ship management hong kong after doing the course i went on my first ship which was uh, a bulk carrier most of you didn't know what is a bulk carrier it used to carry bulk cargoes like uh, corn grains coal etc in uh, huge quantities so that was my first ship where i went as an engine cadet i had to assist the various engineers the seniors as well as the crew in uh, doing various jobs on board so basically that was the uh, most uh, difficult period for me because that was a new environment for someone who has never seen a seen a uh, big big ship like that in his entire life but somehow with the help of my seniors of course i could uh, complete this uh, tenure of mine of 6 and a half months successfully and i could uh, go on to the next chapter if you plan to join merchant navy the correct there are three ways you can join 
so the first way is not recommended by me but if you still want to join in a, at an early age to start earning or to support your family you can join right after your class 12th for that you have to have pcm 60 percent in pcm in class 12th then you can do the gp rating course general purpose rating after doing that you can uh, go to the ship either on the engine side as a wiper or on the deck side as a ordinary seaman so that that part is quite long if you plan to become an officer the other way the next way is after you can directly uh, do b marine engineering or bsc nautical science or dns diploma in nautical science which is a one year course that way you can uh, join as a junior officer or deck cadet and engine cadet and the third way which i choose was i did my graduation in b mechanical after that i did the graduate marine engineering course which is basically a bridging course between the mechanical and marine engineering so these are the three ways you can join and if you plan to join on cruise ships so cruise ships offer a various offer various uh, means of joining you can join as a bartender you can join as a waitress housekeeping staff for that you need to offer uh, you need to do courses in hotel management or uh, uh, hospitality management and prior to that you need some experience in uh, land jobs like uh, in five star hotels or in airport security operations so that will count if you plan to join in the housekeeping department as well as if you are passionate for cooking and uh, you think you can cook good, good food you can do the culinary course also which can uh, enable you to join the uh, join on ships both cargo ships and cruise ships as a uh, messman or the chief cook so speaking about job role since i am from the engine department in the junior ranks or in the rank of wiper or motorman it is basically uh, most jobs involved overhauling of the various machineries there are a lot of machineries on board like pumps various pumps are there motors are there purifier there are three generators a main engine uh, which is the size of a pretty much two story house so the maintenance and operation of all these equipments is uh, necessary and it is done by the uh, crew members which include the motorman wiper and fitter and uh, speaking about my job while on the engine cadet i used to assess the various uh, uh, various engineers seniors as well as the crew members in the routine overhauling or any breakdown maintenance that has happened and uh, while moving up the ranks you can say that the various machineries are divided between the various ranks in the officers so one officer each officer is responsible for uh, uh, various group of machineries on board so basically the duty involves in a watch keeping ship it involves the uh, keeping watches four hour watches followed by eight hours of rest and while on unmanned ums class ships where the engine room is not manned so there the job mainly involves day work and specifically speaking about the working environment on board so once you are on board you are never off duty you are on call 24 hours a day till the time you sign off from the ship so it you can say that this is a job which is physically demanding mentally demanding because we are going to be away from home so uh, keeping all that at side you need to work with your full concentration on the job that you are doing because there are many hazardous uh, chemicals and oil involved so any anything that goes wrong can be very harmful for you the crew as well as the uh, environment as well as the ship so all the job responsibilities that you have need to be done with full concentration and following full safety measures so that is the primary uh, primary way of doing every job on board without which uh, it is very difficult to sustain in this uh, profession if you are following the proper way of uh, joining the merchant navy it can be a little bit of a difficult job 
so which is uh, as i previously mentioned like obtaining sponsorship from a shipping company that guarantees you an onboard position for training which is again in turn required for moving up higher in the ranks and clearing your competency exams the difficulty level is uh, has become a little bit more in the since i had joined like 4 years back 4 years back it was kind of uh a medium difficulty test or uh, interview but now since the uh more and more people are opting to join this profession at various levels in the engine department deck department or even in the housekeeping department so things have become a little bit difficult but if you are having the correct guidance from the starting uh after your high secondary itself so that guidance can give you the correct way of how to join the field without uh, straying here and there and uh, uh, you know giving money to the uh, agents who are there for joining uh, will promise you that they will send you on ship but uh, most of the times they don't do that so pro- uh, opting for a correct procedure is very uh, important as well as uh getting knowledge and especially getting 60% and above in pcm in class 12 that is very important for joining this profession as an officer so i can say that if you are planning to join now it's a good time to join since the uh, right after the pandemic uh, the requirement for officers as well as uh, trainee officers has become more due to the uh, more number of ships that are operating now and uh, by joining in the correct procedure by obtaining sponsorship and uh, getting the right guidance you can join and you can uh, rise to the rank of fourth engineer third engineer second engineer chief engineer within 10 to 15 years of your career so that is uh, once you are chief engineer you can even opt for getting land jobs where you'll even get uh, handsome salaries since the boom of social media as well as uh, the more and more people are getting interested to join in this profession because uh, as we see there are many uh, uh, captains and chief engineers who are regularly making uh, reels in instagram showing that uh, the uniform and the associated uh, uh, fan following that they are uh, having regarding this uh, profession but uh, to be honest they are at the pinnacle of their careers so for them making reels and showing off their uh, maybe their audis and bmws is uh, normal for them but uh, if you plan to join merchant navy by just seeing the glamour that is associated with it and not considering the other factors like you have to do innumerable hours without sleep though there is a uh, maritime labor convention but still at sometimes in case of emergency there are days you can not have sleep at all as well as you will be away from your family members away from your friends coping up with the mental pressure these things are the important uh, aspects that you should consider before joining into this profession instead of just following the social media and seeing the reels or uh, coming under some peer pressure that my friend has joined and i should also join so you should uh, be consulting with your family members your parents to uh, inform them about this job the profile and what are the benefits what are the pros and cons by, while doing this job definitely you will be getting a handsome salary you will be earning in uh, probably in lakhs and maybe even more than that thousands of dollars you will be earning every month but that comes with a huge sacrifice of your personal life as well as you will you can't uh, be enough uh, you can't you have to ignore your social life you can't be doing the, actually now you can see they are making the reels but when you are going on board you may not be able to even access the internet to watch the reels so that thing should be kept in mind so if you are able to work under harsh conditions without sleep 
and uh, with uh, uh, various multinational crews because they come from different nationality and uh, you want to earn a handsome salary you want to own a probably a bmw or audi you can definitely join this field but you should keep in mind the hardships as well as the exams that you have to clear which are uh, quite difficult at this point to clear and rise up your ranks so uh, this all these things except the glamour should be considered before joining into this profession rest is uh, rest depends upon how much you want to progress how much motivated you are how much ambitious you are to uh, join into various uh, types of ships because uh, there are various types of ships according to which you can uh, get a different lifestyle so if you are on tankers you can you may not get any show leave or uh, leave to roam in different countries that you go while if you are working on cruise ships just like uh, i am going to do so if you are working on cruise ships life is totally different but getting into cruise ships is very difficult so it takes a lot of patience to be in this profession because there can be periods of time you can go unemployed for more than one year or one and a half year so keeping in all these negative things the cons you can join this profession and you can uh, rise up the ranks and you can live a good life so uh, career counseling at a, at a very early age like when you are on in in class 10th or 12th or even choosing your career after higher secondary is uh, very important if you are having a career counselor who is guiding you then you can get to the uh, correct point without uh, wasting your time so if you are planning to be a doctor they will help you to plan your studies and plan your uh, uh, path of career to uh, through which you can become a doctor easily similarly if you want to join merchant navy so by getting a career counseling uh, you can actually know the various ways as i previously mentioned how you can join this profession and uh, career counseling without career counseling if you are planning to join then it you are at your own risk there is no one to guide you you can be you can have friends or family guiding you that is a different thing but uh, getting a professional advice from someone who has studied about this career who has uh, knowledge about this career he can guide you the guide you through the correct way so that you can achieve your goal in the shortest period without getting uh, diverted to various other activities so career counseling at an early stage of higher secondary or secondary schooling is very important uh i would request everyone all the parents and uh, all the teachers as well as the students obviously to definitely consult uh, career vichar for uh, getting the correct guidance for the various job profiles that are available for every student be it the be it if you are from the science background arts background humanities background commerce background you can definitely approach them to give them give you the correct uh, guidance and the correct procedure for uh, starting your career and obviously you can also uh, share your difficulties that you are uh, having in uh, choosing your career or even you can discuss about the parents what your parents want and what you want they can also counsel uh, con uh, do counseling sessions with your parents as well as you so that then if there are any differences that all can be cleared out so i would highly recommend everyone to uh, definitely consult with career vichar for those people especially in tripura who want to pursue their career in merchant navy i would definitely encourage all of them to come to this uh, come to continue their uh, career in this profession as well as uh, you can definitely come into this profession and you can excel to greater heights but 
uh, as far as I have uh, known because there is a, a lot of uh, misinformation and misconception among people here due to the lack of knowledge about this profession. So basically I would request everyone to get the correct information and the correct path to follow while uh, before joining this uh, profession and uh, as previously mentioned in the video I will uh, request you to uh, follow the correct path which means you should be uh, sponsored by a shipping company that guarantees you a job on board a vessel instead of uh, running after agents and paying huge amount of money and uh, huge amount of money to go into a ship to complete your training and whatsoever. So the correct way to join Merchant Navy is getting sponsored which is very important and uh, obviously you should uh, be uh, physically and medically fit which is very important because since you will be joining Merchant Navy during your selection trials itself you will be having a medical test so you need to be medically fit keep your BMI under control stay healthy maintain a athletic lifestyle so all these things will help you to be uh, help you to join successfully and also progress in your career